Okay, hi there, this is the Danger Shield from Sparkfun Electronics. The Danger Shield was designed uh, to be a, a demonstration of the different capabilities of uh, driving the inputs of an Arduino. Now you can see here we've got an Arduino Uno uh, underneath the Danger Shield. You can use a Duomelo Nova or an Arduino Pro. And what we've had to do is we've had to put some extra spacers in between the Danger Shield and the Uno because we just felt that the uh, the through hole legs of these switches were getting a little bit dangerously close to the 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 ground shield of that USB connector so we felt it was important just to space that up there so the purpose of this video is a it was a request from a customer who had an issue with uh, getting his danger shield to work so we thought we would do this quick tutorial you can see on the screen we have the uh, well the sketch already downloaded into the Arduino and if we just uh, take you through it, you can see that here it says Danger Shield Component Test, press button 1 to begin. So if we were to press button 1, it would start a series of tests. Uh, you can see that button 1 changes the state, and every time you, you press button 1, it goes to uh, the next part of the test. The first part there is a slider test, press button 1 again, you'll then get the buzzer test, press button 1 again, you'll get the knock test. This is quite important. So we will go ahead and open up the serial monitor. This is exceptionally important to open up the serial number, uh, the serial monitor. If you don't open up the serial monitor, you won't see anything happening. Mm. Okay, so we we'll just open up the serial monitor. And you can see that it says press button 1 to begin. So, apologies. If we press button 1, which is the left hand button, you can see that it comes up with the slider information. Roof slider one down, back up, and two down, and back up, and three down, and back up. Press button one to move on to the next test. Now that's the buzzer test. Press button one to move on to the next test, which is the knock test, I think. Knock received, knock received. Very simple way of determining vibration using a, a little old buzzer. So press button one again, and you can see that we've got the temperature there. Now there's a little temp sensor here. If I just put my finger on that, you can see that it's going up a couple of counts there, just with the temperature of my pinky finger. And then when I remove it, it goes back down again to 162. It should settle down to about 161 again eventually. Yeah, there it goes to 161. Press button 1 again, this is the light sensor, which is this LDR. Put my pinky over it, it changes the value. And then press button 1 again, button 2 and 3 test. So if I press button 2, see that LED going out. Press button 3, see the other LED go out. 7 segment display test. So now counting up, 0 to 9. one again. That's the end of the test.